ChatGPT finally had an update that is worth talking about, and I wanted to be one of the first to talk about it. Now, this is something that they did have a few months ago with a browsing plugin. If you click down here and click settings and beta, click beta features and make sure browse with Bing is turned on. Now, I'm going to show you two incredibly quick use cases for this and why it's interesting, but maybe not a game changer or whatever it might be, or at least not yet. So let's say what is two men dot it. And this is without browse by Bing. So as of my last update, first of all, January 2022, which is interesting. So it seems they've pushed on another three months. Two men dot it doesn't refer to any prominent service, website, organization that I'm aware of. But then if we do the same thing, but with browse with Bing and we say what is two men dot it, what is it going to do? It is obviously going to browse the website with Bing and it's going to understand the context of my website, which was registered uh, in, I think, November or August 2022. So obviously it would never appear before this update. It, ChatGPT just wouldn't know about it. So then we can say something like, can you give me five blog post suggestions to help bring traffic to twomen.it? And this will give you now personalized um, suggestions for your website specifically. And I'm not saying these are amazing suggestions or anything, but I mean, some of these are okay. And it's just nice that it can now understand your website. The other thing that is kind of useful for is to get up to date information about something that may have changed. So if you say without, um, without the browsing, um, what, can you summarize the hunting laws in California? Now, you don't know whether this is going to be the most up-to-date information, okay? And it does actually say that this subject to change, and as of my last update in 2022, it may have changed in that time. But obviously, if we do browse with Bing and we ask the same question, it's just going to browse the internet. It's going to find a relevant article and it will get up-to-date information. Now, this is something you should probably do if you're writing a blog post about something that may have changed and it's definitely worth doing this also it will give you some nice um, external links like this so if you actually press copy here and then go down to mark down to html it should just be uh yeah it just literally has a source right here which is nice i don't know what this weird seven sources oh it's this uh so yeah we'll probably delete this to be honest with you we don't need that um, but it's given us a nice uh, authoritative external link, which is really, really good for SEO. So you could probably use this at the very top of your articles. Um, just ask it for a summary of the topic. It will give you a really good summary of the topic. Now, let me talk about why it's not, an, it's not such an incredible update. First of all, Bing already does this and it already does this really, really well. Perplexity does this and it does it really, really well. Also, another thing is that it seems to be limited, at least right now, to one website. So if I say something like, can you give me a list of old school RuneScape YouTubers? I want to send them a promotional email. Search it on Bing. So let me show you this in action. So it says old school RuneScape YouTubers. But the problem is it all it did was open this article within itself and then just take the h2s and just summarize it for me like yeah it saves a bit of time but it's not that groundbreaking to be honest with you and it's pretty limited as well and it seems to only be able to read parts of the website because it only gave me six it seems to have also tried to link to their channels but that just hasn't worked either so yeah, it's not it's nothing crazy. It's a good start, but I think after they had such a bad experience last time, they have learned from their mistakes and they're just doing things a little bit more slowly, which I'm not against. I'm perfectly happy for them to get, you know, feedback from us. And my first feedback would be to allow it to read a few more pages, but that'll probably be insanely expensive. Anyway, thanks for watching. I just thought I'd talk about this quickly and let people know that this was out and how to activate it and how to play with it. This is for only for ChatGPT4, ChatGPT Plus users, by the way. Thanks for watching and peace out.